Yeah, it's after some time it disappears. Anyway, see this one, you sleep there, showing happiness of your sleep to intelligent persons. At that time, all the universal planets are sustained within your abdomen. So, this purport is simple purport. Our purport is comparing, somebody think, how large can sleep in water? <laughs> so this Prabhupada, this I say, so he said, he said it's like a, a frog thinking of Pashmi Potion. Then he says so many aquatic in the ocean are enjoying. Yes. They are eating, mating, enjoying everything. So when these fish can enjoy, why not the Supreme Lord can enjoy? <laughs> this is the whole argument in this purport. Can you see this? There are many living entities they are enjoying. Living, sleeping, depending. If such insignificant living entities can enjoy life within the water, why can't the Supreme Lord, who is all for powerful, sleep on the cool body of the serpent and enjoy in the turmoil of the violent ocean waves? Mm -hmm. So he can sleep there. So I was trying to. I once went to a church. Uh, the time I was not in this one. So they take this kind of distance. Yes, this is what I, this is your God. They, what they do, do is, there's a, there's a shiv thing is like that. They will make a big st statue of Jesus. He said, your God is small, our God is big. <laughs> they preach to these simple people like that. <laughs> this is the, I mean, so this is the very villagers and they're living in the, you know, tribal areas, they do like that. <laughs> so anyway, this is his Prabhupada says how it is possible for them to on a sleep he can sing the thing, huh? He's not fearful of time. And in any no one else except Supreme Lord can do this. Chakurateva Path said, no one expert Lord can do like that. Sleep on this snake uh, snake. It's very it's very soft. Maybe the those who make these uh, foam beds, they should say shesh bed. <laughs> Very soft. Now, last verse of this section. Again, same. Yanana bhi padam bhavanad aham asam idya loka triyo pakarano yad anograda tasmai namastodarist bhavaya yoga nitra vasana viksha malena akshanaya. Now, Nalin akshana. Nali Nakshana Kamal Nen? Kamal Nen. Please now look at me. Open your eyes. Idia. Prabhupada's chicken word Idia. Mangal Arti. Prabhupada used Mangal Arti. Idia means worship. No, now I'll first, it's first translation. O oh, object of my worship, Idia. I am born from the house of your lotus navel for the purpose of creating the universe by your mercy. All these planets of the universe were stationed within you. You are transferred abdomen while you are enjoying sleep. Now your sleep having ended. Your eyes are open like the blossoming lotus in the morning. Now, see this one word of Chakravati Parts purport, Mangal Arti. Can you see the last line, Mangal Arti? Huh? Now Srila Prabhupada has used purpose like this. Brahma is teaching us the beginning of Archana regulation from morning, 4 o'clock to the night, 10 o'clock. Early in the morning, devotees rise from bed, pray to the Lord, offer Mangalarti. Yeah, so, so Brahma is teaching us the Archana Padati. Mangalarti, early in the morning. Foolish non-devotee, not understanding importance of arsana, criticize regulative principle. 
but they have no eyes to see the Lord also sleep by his own will. You think, how can Lord sleep? Lord can sleep by his will. Then, then Prabhupada is defeating impersonalism. Impersonal always think backward. They think that because there is a form in matter, a spirit should be formless. Because matter is there, in matter there is sleep, a spirit there should not be sleep. And because the sleeping of the deity is accepted as arsana worship, arsana is maya. This is maya vadi. This is maya vadi. Now Prabhupada tries. And all these thoughts are basically material. To think either positively or negatively is still thinking materially. Knowledge accepted from the superior source of Veda is the standard. The, here in these verses of Srimad Bhagavatam we find the archana is recommended. Before Brahma took up his task of creation, he found it. He found the Lord sleeping on the serpent bed in the waves of the war of the vestation. Therefore sleeping exists in the internal potency of the Lord. And this is not denied by the pure devotees of the Lord like Brahma and his disciples. Now you see this other thought, two type of sleep. Not here. So Lord sleeps, but he's awake. We sleep and we are in ignorance. There must be somewhere. Okay. Next section. 22-25, request to the Lord. Now Brahma's prayers for killing. He requested the Lord, please now empower me that I can create as before I have created. So this section. Let the Supreme Lord be merciful towards me. He is the one friend and soul of all living entities in the world. And he maintains all for their ultimate happiness by his sixth transcendental appearance, Bhagavad. May he be merciful towards me so that I, as before, may be empowered with the introspection to create. For I am also one of the surrendered soul who are dear to the Lord. Pranatta Priya as, Asau. Pranatta Priya Asau. I am also surrendered soul and dear to the Lord. Empower me. Supreme Lord Prashottam and Lord Krishna is maintain of all in both the transcendent and material world. He is the life and friend of all because there is eternally natural affection and love between the living entity and God. He is the one friend and well-wisher of all and he is one without second. The Lord maintains all the living entities everywhere with his six transcendent opulences. For which he is known as Bhagavan or the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Lord Brahma prayed. Brahma prayed to the Lord because he is very much dear to the the two surrendered soul. The Lord is very dear to surrendered soul. Surrendered soul is one who knows nothing except Lord. Therefore, Lord is very affectionate towards him. <clears throat> Lord is abode of unconditional prem. He is one alone because all others are not the abode of prem. May he protect by the small portion of sato qualities my material wisdom and by portion of his spiritual qualities nurses my spiritual wisdom since I possess devotion to so that I will leave I will learn how to create material entities such as Marichi and will learn to manifest spiritual beings such as Nal. So he says, give me both benediction of material blessing, blessings of Satogun and spiritual blessing also for my spiritual wisdom. So materially I can create Marichi and spiritually I can create Narada. He should do this since the Lord is affectionate to those who just offer him respect. 
नेक्स्ट वर्ष से एष पर पनवर दो रम्य आत्म शक्ति एश परपन परपन मीन्स वन हु सरेंडर वर दो मीन्स वन हु गिव्स ब्लेसिंग रमय आत्मा रमया इंटरनल पोटेंसी लक्ष्मी गाड़ी जब पार्श रमा राइट करशति ग्रही तह गुण अवतार तस्मिन स्वविकर्म स्वविकर्म मीन्स युअर पावर इदम सृजो मे चेतो सो हिज प्रेंग हाउ हिज प्रेजिंग सुप्रीम लाड समी कैन रीड नाउ यस So I can. He should bless me for two things. I should create, and I should not be proud. This is important. We should get a blessing from the Vishnu that we can accomplish some big thing, but also we should not be proud of that. Protect me from false ego. This is the Prabhupada's purport. Brahma, who is only an assistant in the modes of creation, wanted to remain in his actual position as an instrument of the Lord, instead of becoming puffed up by the false prestige of thinking himself the creator. That is the way of becoming dear to the supreme Lord and receiving his benediction. So you write, how can somebody be become dear to the Lord and get his benediction? How can somebody be dear to the Lord and get benediction when? He become the instrument and give all the credit to the Lord for all accomplishments. Some somewhere else you have read like that. Nimitta Matra in Bhagavad Gita in a nectar of devotion. Some previous Mangala Charna Rupa Goswami. It says give credit always to the seniors. Never take your own credit. You can see in the Mangala Chand some verses. There is a one Prashila Prabhupad very nice purport there also that we should give all the credit to the predecessor acharyas for all the accomplishment. That is the way to receive the mercy and benediction, right? At two three places. So this is one part. And second, Prabhupada should write by spiritual consciousness only. By spiritual consciousness only, can one be free from contamination of material affection and receive the benediction offered by the Lord? So, in spiritual consciousness, it means Krishna consciousness only. The other consciousness is material consciousness. Now, the last word of these periods, verse twenty-five. न विर्दादी हसतो न बसियस्य पुंशो विज्ञान शक्ति अमासम अनंत शक्ते या रूपम विचित्रम विदमास्य विवरतो में मार्जुलिष्ठा निगमस्य किराम विसरगा Any word is coming in your one word is coming in your mind निगमा निगमस्य किराम विसरगा निगम is वेद निगम कल्पत्रु गरितम <coughs> so I should never forget the message of the Veda. Please bless me that I should always remember the message of the Vedas. This is the main thing. The Lord's potencies are innumerable. As He lies down in the world of devastation, I am born as the total universal energy from the navel or lake up in which the lotus stood. I am now engaged in manifesting his diverse energies in the form of cosmic manifestation. I therefore pray that, in the course of my material activities, I may not be deviated from the vibration of Vedic hymns.
Srila Prabhupada is giving something which is applicable to all of us. Every person engaged in trust and loving service of Lord in this material world is prone to so many material activities. And if one is not strong enough to protect himself against the onslaught of material affection, he may be diverted from the spiritual energy. What is practical application for us in this verse? Always chant Hare Krishna, never forget. Whatever activities you are doing, service or work, always never forget chanting Hare Krishna. This is a practical application for us. Brahma says Vedic and work for us. If we chant Hare Krishna, Krishna will always protect wherever we are and whatever we are doing. So this is practical application of this verse. Brahma wants to be protected by the Lord because he has to contact many, many vicious living entities. An ordinary Brahma, Brahman may fall from the Brahma Teja or a lower Brahmanical excellence, excellence due to association with many fallen conditioned souls. Brahman, because he goes to many people, do their puja, he will be affected. And likewise, our devotees, when they go for a collection to the big people, they are also quite influenced by those people. Their lifestyle change, their watch change, their mobile change, their, uh, you know, their bag change. You know, they want to match with them. Yeah, we have seen this. Particularly though the light member preachers, <laughs> these, those who are going for collection, they are stuck because they meet with those people, their influences on them more and more. So Brahma is saying, therefore pray to the for protection. This is awaiting one a spiritual advancement of life. Unless one is sufficiently protected by the Lord, he may fall down from his spiritual position. Therefore, one has to pray constantly to the Lord for protection and blessing to carry out one's duty. Lord Chaitanya also interested his missionary work to be to his devotees and assured them of his protection against the onslaught of material affection. Where is that in Chaitanya? Lord Chaitanya said. See? So you read this statement. What's the devotion? Kurma Brahmana. Jare dekho tare ko Krishna ho ta amara agya hai. Guru ho taro hai desh. Huh? Why will not touch you? So this was Shabbat so this is Shabbat Shila Prabhupada is quoting, okay? But then why we should protect? Why we should, uh, why we should be protected? Why we should pray for protection? What's your purpose, right in purport? So that continue our this, uh, this material, the edge of the sharpened resin, huh? the path of a spiritual life is stated in the Vedas to be like the edge of sharpened resin. A little inattentiveness can cause a great havoc and bloodshed. So we should be very careful. Papa said, I used to pray every day. <laughs> what is the significance of the word bloodshed? Bloodshed and bloodshed. <laughs> I mean, Papa used sometimes this uh, British uh, English bloodshed. Bloodshed uh, means we will take birth again and then they will cut the applicable card and there will be bloodshed. <laughs> 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 right? Then the blood shed. <laughs> okay. Chakravati Pad writes, The extent that I can enter into the ocean of your qualities is because of mercy arising from studying Vedas. Right? Vedas Chakshu Taveishwara. Lord, the Vedas are your eyes. Now, however, because I lack of concentration due to creating universe, I may forget the Vedas. May that not happen. 
Now there are some names of the Brahma in this purport. Can you see this? Because Brahma is the form of aggregate of jivas, and a presiding deity of buddhi, tattva, he is called Vigyana Shakti. May, may my manifestation of words of the Vedas coming from my limbs not be lost as I create the universe, the form of Supreme Lord. May I not forget because of Maya. Okay, see, Buddhi Tattva, aggregate of Jiva, Vigyan Shakti. This, these are the few names of Brahma. Now the two, three verses are simply Maitreya speaking. So, Brahma period of creative impetus, verse 25 is now, okay, 25. Now he said, smilingly, please look at me. Prema Simitena Nayana Bururam Vijaramba Vijarambam. You mean, wake up, sir, wake up, my lord, and have a a merciful glance on me. Two things, merciful glance and instruction. Two things, and also instruct me. Uthaya Vishwa Vijaya Chano Vishadam Madhavyaha Girahopana Yada Purusha Puranaha Purusha Purana. Oh Lord, who is the supreme and the oldest of all, is unlimitedly merciful. I wish that. He may smilingly bestow his benediction upon me by opening his lotus eyes. He can uplift the entire cosmic creation, remove our dejection by kindly speaking his direction. Two things, merciful cleanse and transcendental instructions. Two words are here. Please give me merciful glance and instruction. Please wake up. Three things. Lord is very, Lord is ever increasingly merciful upon the fallen souls of this material world. The whole consequences is chance for all to improve themselves in devotional service to the Lord. And everyone is meant for that purpose. Liberated soul can join in this blissful reciprocation of predominator and predominated without materially concocted ideas. So Prabhupada's purpose is saying, Brahma though he is a creator, creator he is predominated. He is not predominator. Therefore, he wants instruction and mercy. So then Prabhupada said, nobody is here. And then Prabhupada gives the example. The typical example of such a transcendental exchange between the predominator and predominated is Lord's cross Leela with gopis. Gopis are predominated expansion of the internal potency. Gopis are predominated Expansion of are gopis jiva? No. They are kaya view of Radharani. They are expansion of internal. We are also expansion of internal potency. Jiva is also expansion of internal potency. We are my ones. We are ends of Krishna through internal potency. Exactly. You have any doubt? To go to the purport of the verse second canto tenth chapter verse number three purport two ten three purport Prabhupada writes the marginal energy is the expansion of internal energy which is under the influence of external energy he writes like that purport is a purport way down How can you find these three energies? Yes. Part and parcels of the internal potency which react and contact with the external potency are called the marginal potency of the living entity. <laughs> Is that right? Therefore, we pray to the Radharani and Hare Krishna mantra because we are. And energy comes from energy. Is it okay? Is the 
Satchit Anand is there. Usually it's part of Anand, Anand portion. <coughs> Existence. Well, once I was thinking about this, I spoke some time, a verse in a Rishikesh temple, our extension center there. Um, my mood was that who is the presiding deity of Satchit and Anand? So, is, is the presiding deity for Anand, the Allah, the Shakti, the Radha Rani, we know. And for Sat and Chit, who is the presiding duty, and that day we were discussing. And then I asked from some Maharaj and somebody, but I was never given a proper answer. Sat generally, you know, Balram is the extension of, uh, it sustains everybody. The sustaining, sustaining principle is Balram. The abode is Balram, everything is Balram. Even in that sense, Sat, eternal, and who is Chit then? Chit Shakti. Huh? Sandhani, Samvitu, and Aladini, same, same thing. The Sat, Sat is Sandhani, Sat is Sandhani, and Chit is Samvitu, and uh, Anand is Aladini, right? Who is the presiding duty of that? Like Aladini, we know. Radharani is the presiding duty of Aladdin is Sikhi. Krishna, these are energies of Krishna. Can energy, Krishna cannot be energy. I know I, I was asking, discussing with him. Maharaj, he said, this is energy. I mean, Krishna cannot be energy. Balram is also not energy of Krishna, so we cannot say that. But there must be something. I read somewhere, but I don't remember now. The Chit Shakti, who is Chit Shakti and presiding duty, something is there. So, uh, I also had an understanding that uh, by the mercy of Balram, we are able to practice Krishna consciousness. And the pleasure which we get by practicing Krishna consciousness is a, a personification of Balram. Through Anang Manjari. Through the Anang Mandri aspect of Balaram, because that is connected to Radharani. Pleasure is coming through that channel. <laughs> anyway, I think our time is over. I am sorry. I thought I should finish this chapter today. I saw it in our VIH's curriculum, it takes three days for this chapter. Uh, how can we finish all this? I'm, I'm sorry, huh? I, I, I'm going slow. Is it okay? Huh? Is, are you satisfied? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Prabhupada then writes, the gopis are predominant expansion of internal potency and therefore the Lord is par Lord's participation in Ras Leela dance is never to be considered like mundane relation between man and woman. It is rather the highest perfectional stage of exchange of feeling between the Lord and the living entities. Lord gives the fallen soul the chance for this highest perfection of life. Lord Brahma is entrusted with management of the complete cosmic show. Therefore, he prays that Lord bestow his blessing upon him so that he may execute his purpose. Servant will certainly be blissful by glance of mercy and merciful instruction. See, this is practical, this is personal application. We are servant of servant of servants. How can we should be blissful? By glance of mercy and merciful instruction. So many devotees of Prabhupada, they said when Prabhupada looked at us, we were blissful. And when he instructed us, we are blissful. So devotee is only blissful <clears throat> when he gets a merciful glance and merciful instruction by superior, superior authority. See, I'm saying living entity is also the uh, expansion of eternal potency. I told yeah, you. Yeah, gopis, Rasa, we cannot be gopis. But uh, we can be the follower of the gopis. We cannot be Radharani, 
but we can be the servant of Radha Rani. That means in Ras Lila Jeev Tattva is also part of Krishna. Then all are Jeev Tattva, generally speaking. Right. The, the energy, the expansion of energy. Like, say, Narada entered into the Ras dance when they became Gopi. Is a Jeev Tattva? Shankar entered, he's not a Jeev Tattva, but he entered into the, he's become a Gopi. Arjun become a Gopi. He became a gopi and then he entered. He's a gopi Shwar Mahadev. But the job was to stay outside. No, he took, he took a bath in uh, the Brahm Sarovar and then he had a gopi body and then, then he entered there. Yeah, but then he was not allowed to participate. The job was to give uh, Mount Krishna outside the Mandalika. Anyway, he was good to give the say, set. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. There are more some finer details what we can simply, we may hear it, but we can realize in due course of time when we advance. So I think we end it here. Now the Maitreya will speak and then Lard will speak, respond and then the, tomorrow I think we will finish that. And the second, tenth chapter is very, uh, very quick. We can finish in one hour. So maybe we can finish tomorrow this chapter and the tenth chapter. Okay? I'm sorry, please forgive me for my, for my uh, bad habit of reading so many words. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not getting satisfied right now. I'm still, still I'm you know, escaping so many things. It's okay, question back never nobody gave me.